Hey everyone, I'm back with this silver poplar bowl. Uh, it's been exactly four weeks since I did the first turning of a very green piece of wood. I microwave dried it for the first week, which brought it down to um, lost over 20% of its weight and moisture. And then since that point in time, I've had it in its bag of shavings while I've been busy with other things on vacation and so forth. Anyhow, as of now, it's down to 1,420 grams. Uh, over 27% of its weight and moisture has been lost since that first turning. I just did a, a pink circle, so it has contracted a little bit on the sides, but it, there's really no wobble into it, to it, so it really hasn't moved at all over the last three weeks, uh, or very marginally. Anyhow, I'll get this on a jam chuck, make sure that the tenant and the shoulders trued up, and then get to turning uh, the second turning of this uh, salad bowl. Okay, I'm back. I missed uh, filming when I was truing up the tenant. Now I'm gonna proceed with truing up the outside of the bowl. Got my half inch swept back bowl gouge turning just over 500 RPMs.
And this wood is still incredibly wet after all this. So just uh, doing some more shear scraping. Well, I think I've gotten to the shape of the outside of the bowl that I wanted. Uh, I'm going to clean up for tonight, uh, move on to the inside of the bowl tomorrow. And I'm back the next day. Now that the outside's where I want it, it's time to start on the inside. Sharpened up all my tools and gouges, so I'm ready to finish the, this inside journey. filming some again but I got it down to three sixteenths of an inch all the way up the walls of the bowl uh, so I'm going to do some scraping see if I can smooth some out some of those tool marks um, I'll round over the corners a little bit when I'm sanding but I want to see if I can clean up some of the bottom I don't know if you could see that old wound that was in the bottom of this is almost turned out it was just nice and colorful so yeah See if I can clean up the bottom of this just a bit before we start sanding.
Ooh, I went a little thin. <laughs> Three sixteenths might be a little bit thin for this size of a bowl. But, uh, I think it'll sand up nicely. And grain has a little bit of a spot. Um, it looks pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I think I'll stop here and get to bring it back for sanding. We'll do the front and back. Uh, at least 80 through 800. Well, I'm back for, from work the next day, and this bowl's turned into an oval. Um, I mean, I knew after all that drying out I did with the microwave and everything, it was obviously still wet as I was doing the second turning. But I, when I left it last night, it was a finished product uh, before sanding, a perfect circle. Come back from work today, 10 inches, 10 inches that way by nine inches that way. This bowl has seriously moved. So obviously that, that the microwaving and the month long and shavings was nowhere near enough uh, to take all the moisture out. Plus I turned it super thin at uh, you know, three sixteenths of an inch throughout. So this really, really warped and moved, unfortunately. Um, I'll still get the sanding and finishing it, finishing it out. Uh, that's all you can do at this point. But it's just disappointing uh, that uh, it warped. But hopefully in the end it'll still look good. Um, maybe it could have used another week or so in the, getting those microwave 30 second bursts. Uh, definitely needed more drying time. Anyhow, we'll get back to sanding in a minute. stopping there I'm sanding it up to 600 little 10 by 9 oval bowl I had no idea what a pain in the ass this was gonna be um, I'm gonna go section by section not being able to turn and sand um, god it was such a mistake to not sand this before it dried overnight should have done it last night anyhow live and learn um, maybe tomorrow or later this week I'll get it turned around on a jam chuck remove the tenant and put a finish on it. Um, hopefully it turns out pretty cool still. A little 9x10 oval. Um, it's just such a pain in the ass to sand. I don't know if I'll be doing that again. Anyhow, come back later with the tenant removal. Well, I learned something else new. Don't wait three days with a wet piece of wood left in your forge odd chuck. Trust me on that one. Anyhow, got this turned around into a jam chuck now. Time to turn on, turn off the tenon.
I'm gonna fix this bottom a little bit and I'll probably end up, end up chiseling off the chiseling off the nub. We'll bring you back for that later. Yeah, I'm gonna chisel that nub off. Chicken down on taking it off with the with the gouge. We'll use the chisel instead. All right, we'll get this sanded up, signed, and then probably move on to Mahoney's walnut oil. So let's see how this takes the finish. Beautiful. It really is a shame that it warps so much, <laughs> but it still, still looks good. We'll bring you back with the finished product. Here's the final product. One silver poplar bowl. I don't know if the camera shows this, but there's a bit of chatoyance right here in the grain. Really looks beautiful the way it catches the light. Twice turned silver poplar bowl. Obviously I didn't let that dry out enough and I turned it super thin. So my nine and a half inch bowl became a 10 inch by nine inch oval, about three and a half inches deep. Um, but it's still, even with the movement, it's still a beautiful bowl. Happy with how it turned out. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. See you with the next project.